Wes Colson from Colson Outer Law, proudly serving clients throughout the St. Louis metropolitan area and beyond. I would like to welcome you to our Elder Law and Estate Planning Minute. We do these to help educate people, give them some little tips, uh, and especially to let them know the questions that they need to ask, things that they've maybe not thought of. Uh, our thought on that is that we can help you best if you realize the things that you need help and that we can help you with. So I hope you enjoy. Thanks. If you are in a situation in which you are having to look at the question of going on to hospice or placing a loved one on hospice, um, there's something important that I think you need to know, and that is what it means to make a hospice election. First of all, it doesn't mean that the person is going to die in a few weeks. What it means is that you've made an election for them to receive palliative or comfort care rather than curative care. Um, in any situation in which that would be beneficial, it's clearly the right thing in my mind to do if it's offered. Here's why. That election isn't permanent. If you've elected palliative care for someone, for instance, who has terminal cancer, but then they break a leg, um, you can reverse the election, have them get off hospice, have the broken leg treated or pneumonia treated or whatever it may be, and then go back to being on hospice again after that problem has been addressed. So think of hospice as a light switch that you can switch on and off to make sure that you have the best care for that person's situation that's appropriate to their needs at any given time. Thanks.